hello guys welcome back to my channel the beautiful stitches i love you all and i'm glad you're here with me today we are going to be cutting a simple a cut top as you can see our fabric has been placed on full this is my front panel and this is my back panel and i've also folded my zipper allowance 1.5 inch zipper allowance beneath the back panel okay and for us to achieve our horizontal measurement I'll be using the largest measurement, which is the hips. I have 47 divided by 4. We have 11.5. So that is what I'll be using to determine the quantity of fabric that will be enough for my measurement. So here is 11.5 and other allowances that I'll be adding to my top. Okay. So let's mark out our vertical measurements. Remember, we have our baseline which is where every measurement starts from, okay? So I'll be marking out half inch as the shoulder line, which we'll use for our baseline measurement, okay? So let's mark out our vertical measurement on our fabric. So, my nipple point is 11 inches, okay which is here and my under bust is 14 inches remember this top is a fitted one and my waist is 16 inches right here we are marking and the full length of my top is 24 which is at the hip we have 24 inches then i'll be adding two inches for the folding and for the turning of the lining with the main fabric okay and remember the lining will be shorter than the main fabric so i'll be using the two inches to complement the lining so i have two inches all together we have 26 inches so let me mark it out into a straight line okay so we impute our neck width i have three inches for standard neck measurements okay and then my shoulder is nine inches so i'll be marking out nine inches and then impute my shoulder slope of one inch and connect it down to the three inches standard neck measurements just the way i'm doing it okay and then my armhole is nine inches that is 18 divided by two we have nine inches here okay so let me draw it out into a straight line too we'll connect to the shoulder and to the center front so let's impute our horizontal measurement. Okay. My bust is 38. 38 divided by 4. I have 9.5 inches. Okay. I'll be marking it out on this line, the nipple point line. And then I'll be adding 1.5 inch allowance for seam and also for ease. Okay. And then at the under bust, I have 33 inches. My round under bust divided by four, we have eight and quarter. Okay. Plus 1.5 inch allowance too. And then at my waist, I have 34. 34 divided by four, we have 8.5 inches. Remember, I'm marking the underboss and the waist because I want it to be fitted. That is why I'm having that measurement. Because the difference is not really clear. It's not really much. Difference of one inch. Okay. So my hip is 47. 47 divided by 4. I have 11.5 inches. Plus my 1.5 inch seam allowance. Okay, just the way I'm marking it here. Okay, just watch closely what I'm doing. 
that is my 1.5 inch allowance okay so we are going to connect it from the upper bust line down to the under bust and from the under bust to the waist and down to the hip okay but also at the hip line i added one inch to make out to make our top have a uh, have an a shape okay sorry to have an a shape because i don't want it to be too tight at the hip line so let's connect it down to the waist from that one inch i added we we'll connect it down okay as you can see the shape is already out so let's mark it out okay you can see let's mark out our top you can see that our markings are coming out beautifully well so let's go to the armhole region our armhole is 9 9 divided by 2 we have 4.5 which is a midpoint so we are going to locate the midpoint right now which is where i'm marking now and then go in by half inch remember this is for the front armhole and then connect it down from the shoulder line down to the midpoint and then from that midpoint down to the upper bust line just the way i'm marking it as you can see and then for the back armhole we connect from the midpoint just down to the upper bust line just the way i am marking it on my fabric as you can see our top is gradually taking its shape from the markings okay so we are going to cut it out but before we cut it out let's go over to the neck region okay so for the neck i'm going to be marking five inches okay i'm going to be marking five inches so from the sh from the shoulder slope we we'll add two inches to the already three inches standard neck measurement we've already marked out so i'm marking out five inches let me be sure of the measurement and then for the front neck depth i'll be marking out 5.5 inches okay and then for the back neck depth i'll be marking out 4.5 inches just the way i'm doing it as you can see so we are going to be connecting our neck lines Okay, this is for the front neck line. All right. Okay, so we're going to be cutting it out. Remember, this is for the back neck line, and we're going to be cutting the back neck line before the front neck line. So this is my front neck line, and this is my back armhole. So we'll be cutting out the back armhole and the front back neck line together. Let's cut it out. Okay, as you can see. Remember, I added half inch at the shoulder for seam allowance. So, I'm going to be cutting out, making a curve at the edge of my hip, my hip line. Just watch what I'm doing carefully. I don't want that end to be sharp. So I'll be making a little curve there and then cut it out. Just the way I'm doing it now. Okay. Okay. So here is our fabric. We are finished cutting it out. So what I'll be doing now is to separate the front and the back panel. So I can cut out the front neckline and the front armhole. Okay. We have cut it out. As you can see, our front panel is looking beautiful as well as the back panel. As you can see, this is my 1.5 inch zipper allowance and I've slashed it open. Okay, so I'll be using this pattern to cut out the lining for this fabric. Okay, here is my front panel and back panel. Here are my patterns. Uh, my fabric i've cut them out okay i've used the main fabric to cut out the lining and i also 
use a soft interface to gum with the front and the back panel just as you can see on my screen okay that aside here is my sleeves the left and the right sleeves okay on tutorial on how to cut a perfect sleeve please visit my channel for a complete video don't mind the paper on it i use it to differentiate the front and the back the right and the left sleeve okay and here is a flounce i'll be attaching at the center of my sleeve okay and for a complete video on how to cut a flounce visit my channel the beautiful stitches i have a video on how to cut a flounce all right let's keep it aside so we are going to be joining our fabrics together the main bodies and the lining together okay so let's start from the front panel so what i'm going to be doing right now i will align my fabric just the way i'm doing placing the lining on the right side of the fabric and then stitch it at the neckline and also at the hem line okay this is to enable us turn it the other way the same thing i'll do for the front panel i'll also do it for the back panel for the size of the back panel i'll place them align them together putting the lining on the right side of the fabric and then hold it down at the neckline and also at the hem line okay let me take it to my machine and show us what i want to do the same thing i'll do for this side i'll also do for the other side of the back panel all right let me take it to the machine and show us what i'm talking about okay here is my front panel i've held it at the neckline as you can see and i've also top stitched it okay just to give it a nice lapping and i've also done the same for the hem line okay the same thing i did for the front panel i've also done for the back panel for the sides of the back panel okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to hold it on the sides just the way i'm doing watch carefully from the armhole down to the hem line okay i'll also do the same for the back panel i'll hold it from the center back at the neckline down to the hem and then also at the side of the of my uh, my fabric i'll also hold it from the armhole down to the hem line the same thing i'll also do for the other side of the fabric okay let me take it to my machine and show us what we are doing all right so i finished holding it on the sides just the way it is on my screen as you can see i finished holding it so what i'm going to do is to turn it okay making sure the right side is outside just watch carefully the way i'm turning it bringing out the right side of my front panel okay my back panel as you can see the same thing i've done for this fabric i'll also do for the remaining sides i will turn it this way and then give it a very good press just the way i'm doing now you can see i'll give it a good press and then show us what it looks like all right you can see the front panel is ready i've given it a good press as you can see i've sealed the sides okay there's no open side apart from the armhole and the shoulder i've also sealed the back panel okay so here is my zipper i'll be attaching my zipper at the center back remember i added 1.5 inch i've used half inch to seal it and then i'll be using one inch to attach my zipper let me take it to my machine okay as you can see i finished joining the two sides of the back i've attached my zipper as you can see my zipper is well attached okay as you can see that's a nice and a good job so what i'll do next is to place the front panel on the back panel aligning them together and then what i'll do is to take it to my machine 
and so at the shoulder line half inch remember we added half inch at the shoulder line to join the front and the back panel together so i will align it okay just the way i'm doing watch carefully align it at the shoulder line lining facing lining and the main fabric facing the main fabric right side facing right side so i'll take it to my machine and then hold it by that half inch i left for seam allowance just the way i am doing as you can see i'll hold it down let me take it to my machine and get back to us okay as you can see i've joined it at the shoulder it's already sealed okay just the way it is you can see that it is sealed on the shoulder line on both shoulders so right now is to align my fabric right side right side facing right side properly align them together <laughs> and then i'll make my markings on on my fabric and then take it to my machine and join them together okay just the way i'm doing as you can see i've aligned it properly so i'll be marking out my measurements on my fabric so let's mark out where i'll be making a measurement that's my nipple line 11 inches and then i have my under bust 14 inches and my waist is 16 inches okay then for the hem line we just mark our horizontal measurement so let me quickly mark it out so that we can have a landmark where we can mark out on the other side of our fabric okay as you can see i've marked out where we are going to be imputing our measurements so the next thing now is to impute our measurement on those marked lines okay so my bust is 38 now we are going to be dividing it by two not by four because the main the front and the back panel are folded on each other okay so my boss is 38 38 divided by 2 have 19 okay and then we'll know we'll check out what is remaining after marking out the 19 inches i have two inches so i'll be marking it on both sides i'll be marking one inch on both side okay i'll also mark it on the other side one inch just watch what i'm doing i have two inches left after marking out my bust measurements okay and then for my under bust i have 33 divided by 2 which is 16.5 and what is left here is 3 inches so i'll be marking out 1.5 inch on both side okay just the way i'm doing and for my waist we have 34 divided by 2 which is 17 Okay, I marked this under uh, waist and under bust so that I can have a fitted A cut. Okay, so I'm left with three inches also. So I'll be marking out 1.5 inch on both side, just the way I'm doing it now. Okay, and then for the hip, we have 47 divided by two, which is 23.5 five okay so we'll be marking out what we have 23.5 and then remember we added extra one inch okay to give us our a cut so i'll be adding it there so we are left with 1.5 inch okay so i'll be marking out 38 on both side and then connect it so we'll connect from the shoulder, sorry, from the armhole down to the hip line on those markings, okay? Just the way I'm doing it, connect down from the markings, from the armhole down to the hip or hem of our top. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to follow that line and then join it together let me take it to my machine and show us all right oh my goodness this is looking beautiful as you can see 
I finished joining it on the sides. Okay. I finished joining it on the side. What is left now is to give it a very good press to stretch out all those areas that are looking folded. Okay. Give it a good press. As you can see, our top is looking beautiful. So the next thing is now is now is to attach the sleeves. Okay, so I'll be holding the sleeves on the sides, and then at the center, before holding it on the side, I'll be attaching the flounce at the center of my sleeve. Okay, before holding it on the center. Okay, so after holding it on the side, I will attach it to my top. Okay, you can see. I finished attaching the sleeves for a complete tutorial on how to cut a sleeve and the flounce visit my channel okay as you can see the flounce is at the center of a sleeve okay just the way it is you can see it's looking very beautiful okay very very beautiful this is the end of this tutorial thanks for watching till the end I love you all for more exciting tutorials please visit my channel and don't fail to subscribe, touch the notification bell to always get notified anytime I upload my videos. And always remain blessed as you watch, share and like my videos. Bye-bye. See you in my next tutorial.